When Bill Casing wrote the original edition of his book in 1974, he openly invited anyone to provide evidence to help him prove or disprove the Apollo moon hoax theory. Some eight years later, an engineer by the name of William Bryan released his book, Moongate: Suppressed Findings of the U.S. Space Program. Although Bryan did not dispute that men have been to the moon, he pointed out that during the Apollo 14 flag ceremony, the flag waved, despite the fact that there is no air on the moon. In fact, some form of flag movement was always seen on every Apollo landing. Despite various flag movements that are impossible to recreate with human motion, the propagandists all argue that the flag never moved unless the astronauts were holding it. Every time you see that flag waving, the astronauts holding onto the pole and they're moving this thing back and forth. That's why the flag is moving. It's just the cloth flapping back and forth because of inertia. However, this was not the case. In 2007, YouTube user Green Magoo's purchased the Apollo 15 DVD set from Spacecraft Films and analyzed the videos taken during the second EVA. What he found showed that the American flag on Apollo 15 waved when astronaut David Scott ran past it. Oh, you look colorful. That's it. Even with the period, huh? Okay. Like that flag there, Joe? It's beautiful. Yeah, we think it's pretty nice too. So damning was this discovery that when Green Magoo's brought it to S Vector's attention, he initially denied that such footage even existed. He hasn't found anything. Disc for Chapter Three only shows a video pan from the LRV camera with a brief view of Scott and Irwin taking soil samples. It's EVA2 at the Genesis Rock. The flag isn't even at that location. He's confused again. When he accepted that this footage did exist, S Vector claimed he had never seen it before, despite the fact that he had used many video clips from the Apollo 15 EVA2 in his Lunar Legacy series. Interestingly, this flag ceremony is the exact same footage used in the Zigzag Productions documentary, The Truth Behind the Moon Landings. Most obvious evidence the flag was on the moon and not in any air is that whenever people walked by it, it didn't move at all. I think the whole video speaks for itself. Shortly after Green Magoo's released the Apollo 15 flag ceremony onto YouTube, Mark Gray of Spacecraft Films filed copyright infringement against it, along with my flagging the gems video. Even though NASA films are public domain. In this video. 
we are going to investigate all the possible causes for this flag movement. Reading through the Apollo Lunar Surface Journal on NASA's website, we find that the Apollo 15 flag movement is discussed. The editor for the journal, Erica Jones, proposes six possible explanations for this movement. 1. Dave could have brushed against the flag with his left arm as he went by. 2. He could have kicked some dirt with his boot that hit the bottom of the flag. 3. He could have pushed a mound of soil sideways with his boot that pushed against the flagstaff. 4. The impact of his boots on the ground as he ran past could have shaken the flagstaff. 5. He might have been carrying a static charge which attracted the flag material. 6. The flag could have been disturbed by emissions from the backpack. Interestingly, Explanation 5 is the very response S. Vector gave when he admitted that this video footage existed. But later, on September 22, 2007, S. Vector admitted that he was doubtful of this explanation and wasn't sure what caused the movement. I don't know the exact reason for the fluttering flag, but I have my suspicions. In any case, I decided to challenge the static charge theory. For this experiment, an Aboriginal flag was set up in a sealed studio. All I needed then was a balloon and my long flowing locks. We all know that when one rubs an inflated balloon against hair, it generates static electricity. Watch now as I hold the statically charged balloon close to the flag. Do you see it move? If David Scott's spacesuit was carrying a static charge that moved the flag, this statically charged balloon would have the same effect. This is not the case. For the sake of thoroughness, I also took some videos of me running close to the flag. The flag caught in my wake shows noticeable signs of movement. Movement that is obviously absent when one holds a statically charged balloon close to it. Also, when one zooms in on the flag and slows down the video, we can clearly see the corner initially move away from David Scott. If this flag had moved because of static electricity, the fabric would have been pulled towards the astronaut, not away from him. From these results alone, I think we can accept that the static charge theory is unequivocally busted. busted.